McDonald had an alligator? That's right. Look at this chime set. Isn't that amazing? And it's all on an alligator's back. And you can use this little mallet. And that gives a pretty church bell kind of sound. And then you have the, the buttons that sound like an old toy piano, don't they? So what if we tried to play old McDonald? How might that go? Let's try it. Can you sing it with me? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That's right. With something like this, it's easy to get started on music. You know, look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six notes. And with just those six notes, we already made a song, like Old MacDonald. And we could even try to play it faster. We could try it like this. Isn't that fun? Music is so much fun. And look, every single one of these buttons has a different color because every single one has a different sound. And without each one of these buttons, I wouldn't be able to play old McDonald. And without something to strike these metal plates with, I couldn't make it sound at all, whether I use the mallet doesn't that sound beautiful? Listen to that again. Hear how it keeps ringing after it's done? Yeah, that's called sustain. And this has lots of sustain because it continues to vibrate even when I'm done striking it with the mallet. And when I use the buttons, there's less sustain, but it gives it a different kind of a sound. But each one of these different plates has a specific tone to make up that song. And you know, it starts off real simple with something like that. But have you ever seen a big orchestra with all the instruments? It's the same there too. Everybody has their own instrument to play their part of the symphony. Or maybe a jazz band. You've heard the bass going, doom 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 And the drummer going, and a trumpet going Everybody has their own part. And when we all play together, that becomes a composition. Composition just means you put things together in one. And here we have all of these together on one little alligator instrument that we can use to make lots of beautiful music. I encourage you, whether it's with something like this, or maybe the piano, or a trumpet, or a bass, or drums, or a guitar, to learn the wonderful world of music one note at a time. Have you got a song in your heart? Do sometimes you lay on the grass and a tune comes into your mind? Maybe you start to whistle. Maybe you sing when you see something beautiful, or you sing to a brother or a sister, to a mother or a father. Some of you watching may sing to a son or a daughter. Do you have a song in your heart? Oh, today it might be Old MacDonald had a farm. It might be ABCD. It might be another song that everyone knows. But maybe there's a song that no one knows but you. Would you give a moment, would you give a day, 
Would you spend some time thinking about what the song in your heart might be? Would you pray about it? Maybe it's a song about a silly little alligator that'll give everybody a good laugh. Maybe it's a song about a beautiful day that'll cheer up people when they're sad. Maybe it's a song about going through a difficult time, but finding grace in it that'll encourage those who are feeling down. Maybe it's a song about God that'll make everyone wonder what you saw in your heart that brought forth that song. Yes, I believe you do have a song in your heart. Oh, maybe you're not a musician. Maybe you don't want to be. But see, every one of us have a story. We have, like these keys, different thoughts, different experiences, some ups, some downs. But all of it put together might just make a special song. And guess what? If that's your song, then no one else will be able to sing it quite like you. That's right, my friends. Take time to hear the song of your heart and perhaps share it with someone else. When you look at this, don't you see something that a company or a person or a worker took a long time to design? Don't you see the beauty in the colors? Can't you tell that it was made to be played? Sure you can. It was made to make music. And all of us in our individual lives and experiences, we were made and designed. And there's something beautiful there that shows that it's more than just what we think. It's more than just an alligator and some colorful metal bars. It's a musical instrument that somebody thought would be a beautiful gift to the world to create beautiful music. Have you ever thought that you might be a gift to the world? Have you ever wondered what the greatest gift to the world might be? Hmm. Spend some time on that. Look at the things that are beautiful and good and true and ask, what song is this singing to me? And who could it be that wrote it? I hope you've enjoyed this video, my friends. If you have, go on and take time to like it and ask your parents to subscribe or you subscribe if you're the parent watching. Share it with your friends. Tell somebody else about Noe Toy so we can all learn, play, and grow together. 